Pikiri Nambiar? We are not being able to hear you. We are not being able to hear you. Yes, now we can. Go ahead. All right. So what I'm saying is that uh, uh, we, we all must understand and appreciate the fact that there is a power transition is taking place in uh, is taking place in uh, Karnataka, which is one of the uh, largest state and plus a very important state for the BJP because it is the only southern state which is ruling. But just imagine that the kind of smooth transition which is taking. That is something which will be a case study for all the other political, uh, uh, other states to follow or the other political parties to happen. Secondly, the most important part today we are discussing about Vakalinga, Lingayat, Brahmin community, Rajput, all those kind of stuff. But then why don't we even, at least in the national media, we discuss that there will be a BJP chief minister will be sworn in. Why do we need to play, uh, put uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Yadirappa, which has got a career of 50 years or, uh, long uh, political career, he has done extremely well as a uh, uh, politician, as an administrator, and we are just putting him more of like, positioning him more of like just as a Lingayat leader. I would say, since I have travelled across Karnataka, in Karnataka, Yadirappa do command a respect from every community, whether it is a Brahmin or a Vokalinga or a Gauda, or any of those communities, he command of equal respect. But I think the bottom line today is that the BJP has shown to everybody that the power is not a permanent one in BJP. No one is indispensable. So that's a wonderful quality, a political party which believes in democracy or internal party democracy. That is something we all must appreciate. Now comes to the second part of it. Today, if you really look at it, Dhamendra Pradhanji is also going for the meeting. If you really, really, they are already on their way. So in the Dhamendra Pradhan was the one who was uh, uh, the, the party in charge of Karnataka for several years before he became the, the minister. So he knows the in and out of it. And most of the uh, formula, as Anurag said, is being already clearly laid out. It is just now a formality to go out and elect publicly a chief minister and maybe tomorrow or day after the new chief minister will come. For me as a political analyst, I take this as an example of how a power transition needs to be done. How effectively a functioning party can really change the leadership, whether it is in Uttarakhand, whether it is in uh, any other places. The smooth way this party has been managing his internal affairs is commentable. And on the other part which you were talking about, that uh, if, if another chief minister who comes from somewhere else, uh, some kind of thing, there will be internal tough and etc. If you, if you read, really recall, when uh, in the state of Haryana, when Manohar Lal Khattar was elected as a uh, the chief, chief minister. Everybody said that the, the Jat community and the Brahmin community there will not be accepting a Punjabi. But it's been seven years. He is the chief minister. He is the second time chief minister and doing great. So I think sometimes the people like us in television studios prejudge or come with a pre-minded mind that there may be a fight. We, we all like to have see, see this. And I think that is not going to happen this time around in uh, Karnataka and an example for that is that the union cabinet reshuffle which just happened in the last month wherein everybody was thinking that the big guns had gone without even knowing and a single smallest or even a voice or a noise even have you ever heard no so I think for me this power transition and it's a great example even from the point of view of I have always been a very great advocate of the 75 year of formula. Uday Pratap Singh will retire on the next day, maybe when you are 60, 65, whatever age. If it is in every profession, there is an age for retirement. Why not in, if not in politics, at least in the power politics. Yadirupa is not going anywhere. He is going to be there. He has clearly said that I am going to be here. I will be even uh, working for the party to strengthen the party for the next election. So I think uh, there is no controversy as of Pikiri, now. Pikiri, 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 there will, there will be some who will say retirement policy for some within the BJP, but not for others. We saw recently how Sridharan, who is over 90, was made your CM face. 
exceptions are always there, but then that, that could be only from the point of view, even not only he, Sri, uh, Sridharan, even or Raj Gopal was uh, an elected MP from uh, Trivandrum, he was almost 85 when he was elected as a, uh, an MLA, they, 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 that could be a uh, broadly, uh, you can say some kind of an exceptions here and there, broadly if a party can have an unwritten rule, either yeah, if it is your 75, 76, Anurag yeah, I think if the politics is as much as what we discussed uh, like this way, it will happen like this. It's not uh, typically a thriller movie. Of course, it does give some kind of a thriller. Speech. I think uh, Mr. Shastri did not have his breakfast, so I think let him come out of it, then I will come to the point. So the idea is that politics cannot be discussed in such a way. We are uh, expecting everything that it is going to happen in a bad way, that the, the, the government is going to collapse, who will become the chief minister, what will be the terms and conditions. Of course, there are times the, uh, the people who are power-hungry politicians in any party, irrespective of a particular party, everywhere these kind of breeds are there. I am not a great fan of people who... Uh, I, I always believe that the people of this country should be throwing the people who change the party after getting into the, the power. But then, is that just always the way a politics works in this country? No. There is never... Yeah, you said you appreciate. What is that we have to appreciate? I am. I am. I must, I must say to today. But I am telling you one to say that there is... Please kindly hold on. Ambiar sir. No, no, please, please, you, you, you have to allow the others to speak as well. I'm running out of time. Anurag Naidu, come in here. Anurag Naidu, come in here. Anurag Naidu, go ahead. Go ahead. How many states in this country is ruled by the family police companies? You talk about all the places, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, even in the Shadda Pawar and Company, all these people are the best people you are talking about when you have a national party, which is a ruling party, is talking about the democracy, electing the people in a democratic way, having a power transition in an effective way, changing the chief minister is not becoming an issue. I think I appreciate that. That is what is the Yemen democracy is all about. It is not about that M.K. Stalin or his son or, or someone else will be continuously will be after family will rule. That is not the kind of politics this country which requires. I think I always see Mr. Shastri that why don't you accept the very fact that we need national parties like this which are not owned by a single family or a single part or, or a single individual or he will be ultimately the final decision authority. But if you have a democratic party able to elect and select different leaders at different times, we must appreciate that. That is what we require. It should not be El Shadirappa forever. It should not be for a Modi forever. It should not be an Amit Shah forever. It has never been an Vajpayee or an Adwani forever. Here we have where Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, the life ends there. You, here you have uh, uh, M.K. Stalin, the Karunalini, M.K. Stalin and Dayamidi Maran. Here you have a KCR and a KTR. Then we still wanted to criticize a party which believes in internal democracy, people changing every three years, the chief minister, of, chief minister depending upon their own internal assessment, asking them to go or creating a new leadership. That is what the democracy is all about. That is the kind of people we want. Anurag Naidu, quickly, Anurag Naidu, Anurag Naidu.